Did you know that you could dry can potatoes, yes, without any water, and pressure can them for 40 minutes in the last three years? Let me show you how. So the first thing we're gonna do is when the potatoes are ready to harvest, we're gonna go dig them up, get them out of the ground, and bring them home in a basket. So I ended up with about a five gallon bucket full of potatoes. Now we're just gonna peel them, get them cubed up, and cleaned up and ready to go in a jar. So now that they're all washed up and clean, all we're gonna do is let them set in the refrigerator overnight. That gets some of the starch out of the potatoes, and it will make them a whole lot better when it comes to canning. So now that we've got them cleaned and all cut up, we're gonna leave them in this pot of water in the refrigerator overnight. This pulls the starch out of the water, so when you get ready to can them, you're gonna drain the water off and can the clean potatoes. I'm using cork jars, so I'm just gonna take the cube potatoes that are clean and have been sitting in the refrigerator and fill that jar up and leave about an inch head space. And what about an inch head space is, is right up to the edge of those threads at the bottom of that blue funnel. All you have to do now is shake it down a couple of times and we're gonna add one tablespoon of butter and one teaspoon of non-iodized salt. Now wipe the edge off really good with a clean paper towel. Make sure there's no butter, water, or salt on there. Put you a clean lid on there and a ring finger tight. Now we're just gonna pressure can them for 40 minutes and they're good to go. We end up with some cooked potatoes that look just like this. They have the butter and salt already in the bottom. All you have to do is dump them in a pot and heat them up. These things last for years and